YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video, man. Y'all usually see me make beats from scratch all the time, but today we're gonna get into how to flip samples, man. Let's get right into it. But before you can even start flipping a sample, man, you of course need a sample. So I made a list of my five favorite places or ways to get samples, man. So on my number five spot, I got YouTube sample packs, man. Like there are a lot of people who are uploading loop kits or sample packs each and every week or even every day. The thing with sample packs for me is, man, since they're open to the public, it's almost guaranteed another person has used the loop you use. And that's why it's on my number five spot, man. It's very good if you're looking for a, a very specific type of loop kit or sample pack, but in my opinion, there are just way better ways to find samples. So my number four spot is Discord, man. Like I don't see a lot of people doing this, but I remember back when I first started out making beats, I used to send my loops in, in Discord servers and stuff like that. Cause there are a lot of active producer communities out there, man, with people just sending loops each and every day. So make sure to join mine as well, link in the description. And for my number three spot, man, we're really starting to dive deep in ways to get different samples. Cause one of my favorite ways of finding samples is through email list, man. Cause just think of some sample makers, you know, man, they're probably like sending out emails each and every week. Uh, they have like an email list where they send out loops. So I definitely suggest y'all hit up your your producers that you know you think are hard just trying to build a little connection with them and ask them to be on their email list like some might ask you to pay to be on their email list and some might not but think of it like this if you're paying to be on someone's email list it's, it's guaranteed to be exclusive plus if you're a sample maker yourself man that's a great way of getting placements just reaching out to people and asking for the loop email just sending them loops now my number two spot i got friends man probably 90 percent of the beats i make with loops are loops from my friends think of it like this if one of your beats gets placed with little baby or future would you rather want it to be one of your friends or just a random guy off, off of the internet and that's another pro as well, man. Just you and your friends communicating. If something gets placed, it's it's clear agreements and no like people you don't even know that you gotta like settle an agreement with. And on my number one spot, we got the Melody app, man. Like I want to thank them for reaching out to me and actually sponsoring this video as well. Hey, y'all know I only mention or promote stuff in my videos where I'm actually 100% behind. Uh, so they reached out to me. I did my research and I actually really like the concept they had going on. So I figured why not put y'all on it as well. So I downloaded the app. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. All right, so we in the app, man. Uh, right as you download the app right here, uh, of course they want you to make an account and stuff like that but after that you get like this instruments and vibes uh section and for the people watching who don't know what this menu means come on bro please select filters to narrow down your results if there are no exact matches we'll show you your next best loops and that means we're basically going to select a category now and uh, the app is actually going to pop up loops for us man all right bet so uh, let's do keys flute um bells pads why not piano uh and vocals then we got vibes too right here so right now the vibe is set on dark before y'all happy motherfuckers out there uh there's a happy mode as well um but we're gonna go with dark and um i don't know what cloud is but we can try it all right so i clicked on view results and now i'm in the the main like screen of the app uh so this is the screen you're gonna get after you select all the the little like descriptions and stuff like that and for the people watching this who are on tinder all the time uh y'all are probably familiar with this type of setup on the screen so the way that this is gonna work is you're gonna click the little play button right here and a melody is gonna play why why else would they call it the melody app of course so you swipe right if you like it swipe left if you don't uh, you don't have to feel bad afterwards after swiping left um you just decide if you like it or not man but you can also swipe down and that will show you who made the loop if you're interested in that and then you can also swipe up and that will send it directly to your email man so you don't have to go through a crazy process of getting the the loop to your pc email macbook whatever you're using so uh we're just gonna browse through some loops then put it in fl and uh, flip the loop later man It's got a flute in it too. All right, let's swipe up, send it to my email, and browse through uh, some more. Oh, that's crazy. Who made that? Hostile Beats, man. Shout out Hostile Beats. I'm going to send that to my uh, email as well. All right, so now I got two samples in my email. Um, and I hear y'all thinking, did that take 10 minutes to get to my email? No, it did not. Uh, right when I swiped up, it was sent to my email. So that's a good thing as well. So I'm going to download them, hop on FL and uh flip them as the title of this video says of course so let's get right into that man all right so we're in a fell right now got the two melodies put up so i'm gonna get into different ways on how to flip samples uh real quick so for me the three ways i usually flip samples is just straight using them i mostly do this when i use uh friends loops stuff like that i just straight put them in a fell and uh, throw some drums under it but you can also chop the sample up use different uh effect vsts add some melodies yourself try to reverse it uh change the bpm change the key so there are endless possibilities to it but regardless i always like to to change it a little bit to add like your own little touch to it so change the bpm change the key uh whatever you prefer of course so i think the best way for me to actually explain it is to show you all the process so i'm gonna pull up the loops we just downloaded and uh flip them into a beat man let's get it
right, so I think I'm gonna keep this one fairly simple since the melody already had a few sounds in it. So yeah, now I'm gonna put some drums under it uh, so y'all could get a feeling of what it sounds like with some drums under it. And like always, man, all the drum sounds I'm gonna be using today came from my uh, rookie season drum kit right here. Got some 808s, bonus loops, claps, effects, hi-hats, kicks, open hats, perks, and some uh, some snares. So if you haven't got the kit yet, man, make sure to check that out. I'll leave a link to that uh, in the description as well. So let's get right into it, man. So I got the second sample pulled up right here in a new project. And for the ones wondering what some good um, effect plugins are for flipping samples, I suggest plugins like uh, Halftime, Grosbeat, RC20. Y'all see me use that all the time. I use Shaperbox and Effectrix a lot too. Uh, of course, you can use stuff like Portal as well. Um, so yeah, endless possibilities, man. Just make sure to experiment a lot while uh, with flipping samples. So I want to thank y'all for watching, man. Make sure to let me know in the comments what I'm trying to see next uh, or if you have any questions or stuff like that. Also, don't forget to check out the Melody app. I'll have it linked in the description. So make sure to download it. Check it out yourself. Hey, yeah, that's pretty much it for me today, man. So subscribe to the channel, like the video, stuff like that. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Hey, yeah, we'll catch you on the next video, man. Y'all stay safe.